guys welcome to wiki walks channel where the search for the truth begins in 1969 iraq armed forces were on high alert nine jews three muslims and two christians 14 people were sentenced to a public hanging who were these 14 people iraq said they were spies who did the 14 people work for 14 people were working for mossad as spies In this real life story behind every character there are twists and turns Mossad was behind the actions of these 14 people This story starts in 1927 Ezra Naji is the hero of the story Ezra Naji was born in Mosul Iraq in 1927 He was an excellent student and he has a job He falls in love with a Jewish girl called Malad He marries Malad and lives happily but sadly his wife falls ill to a fever and she dies Ezra Naji was devastated due to his loss he often visits the grave of his wife and cries because of his loss when he was crying somebody touched him in his shoulder he turns and sees an old man standing near him his name was Bosha Ezra Naji asks who the man was the old man replies that he has also lost his wife at a very early age He said that he saw Ezra crying and came forward to ease Ezra's suffering. The commonality was both men have lost their wives at an early age. But Bosha's motive was totally different. Who was this Bosha? Bosha says that he sells small products. He has many stores. He also shares that he regularly visits his wife's grave. He has seen Ezra on many occasions. But there was another side of Bosha. He was a member of Israeli intelligence agency. He was a spy. His job was to give information to Mossad about the Jews who were oppressed and people below the poverty line in Iraq. His mission was to help identify the Jews in Iraq. Bosha was watching Ezra and his sadness. Bosha and Ezra became friends. He informs Bosha that he will visit Bosha in his house. They have become close friends as they were sharing their sadness. Ezra needed a helping hand. Ezra Naji goes to Bosha's house. Bosha had a daughter. Her name was Rowan. She was beautiful and young. Rowan starts to manipulate Ezra. Ezra Naji was true to his first wife, but he falls for Rowan's beauty. Ezra decides that he has to marry Rowan. Ezra visits Bosha's house the next day. Rowan was in her house. She was 17 years old. Ezra was nearly 30 years old. Ezra expressed his desires to marry Rowan and asked for her answer. Ezra didn't know that Bosha was a spy. Rowan says to Ezra that he should ask permission from her father. After some time, Bosha arrives at his house. Ezra asks permission from Bosha to marry Rowan. Bosha asks for dowry. In many Arab countries, men should pay dowry to women's families. The year was 1952. Ezra says he can give 1000 dinar. He has his own house which will be given to Rowan. Bosha says he was looking for a groom who was able to pay 10000 dinars for Rowan. After 2 days Ezra goes to Bosha's house. Ezra says that he now has 2000 dinar and the property will be given to Rowan. Bosha gives an ultimatum to Ezra. He will accept the marriage proposal but in return Ezra should help smuggle the Jews from Iraq to Israel. Ezra has to assist Bosha in smuggling the Jews to Israel. This is the first twist. Ezra now understood the real job of Bosha. The year 1956. There is a big issue between Israel and the Arab world. This issue is called the Suez Crisis. So when the Suez Crisis was happening, Israel wanted many Jews to be smuggled from Iraq into Israel. This was the 8th year of the birth of Israel as a country. Israel wanted a majority of the Jews population to confirm that Israel is a state for Jews. Israel was involved in a project to bring in many Jews from all over the world into Israel. In this project, Bosha was a spy in Iraq. Ezra had many connections. He found it easy smuggling Jews to Israel. Ezra promises Bosha that he can smuggle nearly 400 Jews to Israel. Thus he marries Rowan. But when all is well, Bosha suddenly dies. In Bosha's funeral, a man approaches Ezra. He speaks to Ezra, but he was unable to understand him. Then the man disappears. After 2 days, Ezra was in a coffee shop. A man appears and gives 500 dinar to Ezra. 
he says to Ezra that he will be back next week to the same coffee shop and gave the money to Ezra. The next week Ezra was waiting in the coffee shop. Mossad agents approach Ezra. They say that they are aware that Ezra has helped in smuggling 200 Jews to Israel. The Mossad agents say that until then Ezra was only a conductor. From that day onwards he will become a spy for Mossad and Israel. As a spy Ezra has to help the Jews. You may ask us a question, how did Ezra who was a Muslim help the Jews? The answer to this question was Rowan. Ezra has already told his wife Rowan about his deal with Bosha. Ezra asks whether she was aware of the deal. Rowan says she knew everything and she was the one who suggested the idea to Bosha. This is the second twist for Ezra. Now the whole family was ready to work for Mossad. Ezra has to undergo training to be a spy. This training was given by the Mossad agents to Ezra in Iraq. Ezra has become a capable spy for Mossad. When the family was moving on, Rowan was sad because the couple didn't have any children. The couple went to many hospitals. They were suggested to consult hospitals in foreign countries. Rowan had an idea of going to hospitals that were in Israel. Ezra asks for permission from Mossad, but Mossad refuses the request. Why did Mossad reject the request? Why is Mossad concerned if the couple had a child? Why is Mossad not allowing the couple to travel to Israel? There are many questions from the couple. The answers were made available to them on the next week of their request. The couple stayed in their own house. There was an officer living opposite to the couple's house. Mossad wanted to use Iraqi military officer for their operations. This task was given by Mossad to Ezra and Rowan. To do this, they need a woman to set up a honey trap. Mossad was searching for an agent. They find out that Rowan doesn't have any children and she was young and beautiful. Ezra approaches Rowan and tells her if the couple wants to go to Israel, they had to complete the task given by Mossad. Ezra wanted Rowan to become a spy and seduce the officers. This was the assignment from Mossad. So she accepts the request from Ezra. So Rowan was the honey trap and seduced the lieutenant. The information which was needed for Mossad was obtained. The information contained MiG-21 jet fighters. MiGs are Russian-made jet fighters. Russia has sold these jets to the Arab world. The full information about the MiG-21 and its pilots. To obtain all the information about the MiG-21, Mossad needed information from the Iraqi pilot. Rowan was able to obtain the information. Mossad needed information about an Iraqi pilot. Rowan was able to obtain this information from the lieutenant. When the information was passed to Mossad, Mossad gave another task to Ezra and Rowan. The task was to use one of the Iraqi pilots for their Mossad's mission. Ezra and Rowan received huge sums of money and electronic devices. Mossad bought a new house for the couple. The house contained many secret rooms and trees behind the house. This house was located in the middle of a forest. So after Rowan's successful honey traps, the targets were taken to the new house. The couple decides that if they were to honey trap a Iraqi pilot, they need a Iraqi doctor who was working in the army base. Rowan knew a doctor and she decided to call him to her house. This doctor was in an army base. She calls the doctor and says that her husband is feeling sick. When the doctor came to the house, Rowan seduced the doctor. Ezra records the events which unfolded after the honey trap. The doctor came to know that the couple were spies. The doctor says to Rowan that she was a spy. Rowan accepts that she is a spy and tells that the act committed by the doctor with Rowan was recorded. She shows the footage to the doctor, but the doctor refused to help the spy. The doctor firmly says that he will not support the spies. He says that the spies will be identified by the Iraqi government and he will be a hero. Ezra Naji enters the room and shoots and kills the doctor. They bury the body behind their house. So the couple was unable to turn the doctor. Mossad gave information that the pilot is going to attend an event. The couple attends the event. 
but Rowan was unable to seduce the pilot in the event. But the pilot leaves for America for training. His name was Muhammad Yusuf. He was a pilot who was capable of flying the MiG-21s. He received training from the Russians. When he arrives in America, the CIA assigned their agent to set up a honey trap for Muhammad. The CIA female agent starts her relationship with the pilot. The female agent asks the pilot to marry her. Muhammad refuses her offer and says that he is already married. He also says that it is restricted for Arab men to marry foreign women. Her name was Krauta Hoker. She was unable to convince the pilot. CIA sent the female agent to Iraq after the pilot. The pilot knew that his girlfriend had arrived in Iraq. There was a huge fight between the two in the hotel. She forces Muhammad to help her. She shows the photos which were taken by both of them. When the fight started, the pilot hit the agent in the face. The CIA knew that the pilot has recognized that his girlfriend is a spy. CIA orders to assassinate the pilot. The CIA also informs the issue to Mossad. The next day, the female agent of the CIA goes to the pilot's house. Ezra now enters the scene and shoots and kills the pilot. The body of the pilot was wrapped in bed sheets. The CIA female agent was ready to leave Iraq for London. The next day, information arrives that the CIA female agent has been murdered. She was stabbed 30 times. When hearing this news, Ezra and Rowan have doubts whether Mozart had another team or not. Their doubts included who killed the CIA female agent. Will the couple face the same death? The couple feared for their lives. From 1960 to 1963, the couple lived a lonely life because of their fears. They came out of the house for necessary reasons. When the couple went outside, the couple was arrested by the Iraqi police and the army. They were confirmed as spies. Their punishment was death sentence. So, with the couple's network, Rowan was able to honey trap nearly 14 to 16 Iraqi high-ranking officials. 12 of these officials were arrested. So, 14 people were hanged by the Iraq government. Mossad has left them to be hanged. This information spread like wildfire in Iraq. Iraq officials announced that if there are Mossad spies in Iraq, they were requested to surrender and their sentences would be reduced. The Iraq government announced that if they catch a spy, it will be a death sentence. Two female spies, the people who helped them, the members of the network. This was the perfect and classic honey trap by Mossad. Comments about this video are most welcome. Please do subscribe and share for more content to Wikivox, the voice of Tamil Pukisham. Please give a like to this video and please hit the notification icon. Nandri Vanakam.